Nature's Numbers, Chapter 2. What Mathematics is for? Mathematics helps us to understand what is happening around us. It gives us a way to solve the puzzles that is brought by or is present in nature. It provides us a systematic way of digging out the rules and structures that lie behind some observed pattern or regularity. Because the world is constantly changing, there are new discoveries being made, and mathematics has served two purposes for this. First, it provides tools that let the scientists calculate what nature is doing, can be referred as applied mathematics. And second, it provides new questions for mathematicians to sort out to their own satisfaction, referred as pure mathematics. In applied mathematics, engineers, for example, will design a bridge using standard mathematical methods even if they don't know the details that plays behind the scenes of these methods. On the other hand, pure mathematics will explain the theories behind these methods and what makes them work when applied to real situations. Mathematics is the science of patterns, and nature exploits just about every pattern that there is. It will help us explain what these patterns tell us. With mathematics, we will know how and why they happen, be able to organize these patterns, predict how nature behaves, control how it will behave, and to make use of all of these in practical ways. How they happen. For example, mathematics will explain how the snail makes its shell. Mathematics lets us do the molecular bookkeeping that makes sense of the different chemical reactions that go on. It describes the atomic structure of the molecules used in shells. It describes the strength and rigidity of shell material as compared to the weakness and pliability of the snail's body, and so on why they happen. Mathematics also explains why snails have spiral shells. We can use mathematics to relate the resulting geometry to all the different variables, such as growth rate and the eccentricity of growth that are involved. Organizing patterns. Mathematics helps in explaining how the numerical relation between the periods of revolution of the heavenly bodies in space are locked up together so that they take up the same relative positions at regular intervals. This explains how the stars appeared as aligned in constellations. Prediction Mathematics also plays a role in prediction, where for example astronomers can predict the tides by identifying the positions of the moon and sun relative to the earth. Control When you understand how the system works, you can predict what will happen which can lead to the capability to control the system. An example of this is the use of electronic pacemakers to help the patients with arrhythmia in regulating their heartbeat. Sometimes we fail to realize how much mathematics affect our daily lives because it's usually kept behind the scenes. However, even if we don't always understand all the purposes of mathematics, we can at least learn the basics of it. Someone has to understand these mathematical theories in order for us to keep up with the changes of the world. Without mathematics, there will be no new discoveries and no way to prove them. Chapter 2 best depicts the major contributions of mathematical instinct or thinking in human culture. We like that the examples it gave were very distinct, and Stewart's style of writing made it easy to follow his train of thought. His genuine excitement over the conjoined relationship of applied and pure mathematics highlighted to us the intertwined nature of using maths as a tool to a science and understanding the science itself. From Newton's discovery of force that led to the creation of calculus, to the measure of celestial revolutions that affect our everyday weather, maths can be used as an effective tool to model our everyday reality. This is important to both scientists mathematicians, and us normal folk. Moreover, supplementing his ideas with the main functions of mathematics near the end of the chapter was a huge turning point, especially considering the Mendelian genetic and Darwinian evolutionary models that he brought up. He highlights the importance of maths in the ever-evolving field of science and medicine, an industry that we all aspire to be a part of in the future, hence emphasizing the importance of understanding these mathematical theories. Stewart's ending effectively complemented his first points about how math surrounds us in nature and what we can actually do with it. Mathematics can therefore be used to make logic out of something that seems illogical, 
which is beneficial for human survival and understanding of the natural world, evolving culture and everyday norms.